and it squared off just moments ago at a forum. Wave Three's Matt McCutcheon was there and joins us live now with what the two were saying. Hey, Matt. Well, the conversation is continuing this noon here inside the Kentucky Farm Bureau headquarters right off of Hurstbourne. Officials quick to not call this a debate, but more of a forum. But inside, it kind of smacks like it is. There is a lot of back and forth, a lot of name calling between the two candidates, all vying for that Senate seat again. It is continuing right now this noon. This all comes as poll numbers show a very interesting shift here recently between Conway and, of course, Rand Paul. Now, this is a race between the two. The recent poll numbers show the shift that likely voters find Paul leading with 49% of the vote to Conway's 41%. 4% actually prefer another candidate, while 6% are undecided right now. Conway and Paul tied to push, try to push those numbers in their favor at a debate that is still going on at this noon hour. Now, five main areas what farmers are wanting to know about energy, environmental regulations, fiscal policy, health care, immigration and farm labor, and international trade marketing. Those are the five questions that this sort of focused around much of the morning. Of course, the two candidates both vying for the Senate seat being vacated by Senator Jim Bunning. Now, one of the big ways they are, the farmers can actually make money right now in this tough economy is by actually selling their product overseas. Here's a sampling of what both candidates have to say about continuing efforts in that regard. We already export 25% of our farm products. That's where we grow. The rest of the world still needs food. We, we're doing pretty well feeding our people here. If we want to grow in agriculture, we grow through foreign markets. Right now, many of you who may be soybean producers are experiencing an increase in your exports because in Asia, they're using more soybeans. That's a good thing. That's been done by the work of USDA and USTR to try to go abroad and, and open up additional markets. I will work with you as your next United States Senator to make certain that, that more of that happens. And there's a lot that the two candidates are still talking about this noon hour. We will dig deeper into more of the conversation. Have that for you right here on Wave 3 News beginning at 5 and at 6. Of course, in the meantime, we are just a few months, hard to believe, from the November elections. We have a lot of coverage for you about all of the major races. We're keeping tabs on all those for you on our website that is Wave